2024 started out with a bang for all email marketers. Google, Yahoo Mail, and AOL implemented new requirements that insisted on marketers to take action. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, make sure to check out the video we will link in the description. Now, if you're a little late on this and you're using Omnisend in a custom domain already, don't worry, just follow along and I'll show you how easy it really is. So here I am in the Omnisend dashboard and I'm gonna go to my store settings page and to the sender domains and add a new sender domain. Now in this field, you need to enter the domain that your store is hosted on. In my case, it's gonna be omnisend.dnsdynamic.net. Of course, this is just for demo purposes only, and I hope your store has a better looking domain than this. But let's carry on. Continue. And we are taken to the domain authentication page. And this is just fields that we're gonna need to copy and paste into our DNS providers dashboard. So let's start with the SPF record. Let's copy that. And I have this domain that I have written down in the Omnisend page. So let's go on there. And I am taken to the DNS record management page. And I'm going to click on add new record. And I'm gonna add a TXT record. Now, all of these are gonna be TXT records. So always make sure that the type is TXT. And for host here, we're not gonna enter anything because this has to go directly on the primary domain. It's not going to any subdomain. So in this case, I'm gonna leave it blank as it is shown over here. And I'm going to paste what I have copied from the Omniscient page. Now remember, the host field might be called something different on different providers' dashboards. It could be a host, it could be a target, it could be a location. There's different specific wording used on different providers' dashboards. And for points too, this could also be a value or something else. In this case, it is points too. So let's save it. And as you can see, the record was added successfully. Now let's do the same for all the others. Okay, and now for the DKIM record. So let's go to the Omnisend page again. Let's copy the name and let's add another TXT record. Now, as you can see, if I enter the host here, everything looks fine, but pay attention over here. This already includes our primary domain so we don't need to repeat it every single time. In this case, we're going to delete this part because it's already included over here. So make sure you do that. So in my case, it's going to be k1 dot underscore domain key and everything else is going to be filled in automatically. And it's going to point to the value that I'm going to copy from Omnisend once again. Points to save and here it is. Now let's do the same for the last DMARC record. Copy, go here add record, txt, host, remove this because we only need the dmark part and let's copy the value. It's points two, save. Now one thing I want to note is if I add a new record, there's a TTL field. Don't really pay attention to it. The default settings of your DNS provider should be okay. If you know what you're doing and you want to change something, go ahead. In my case, I'm just not going to do that. Okay, so to recap, we have all the necessary records added to our DNS. And let's go to the Omnisend page and let's click on verify records. But before we do that, I would like to note that the DNS records might take some time to update on your DNS provider's side. So it might not work immediately for you. In my case, it should work immediately for me, but if the records do not appear as verified after 24 hours, there might be some issues and you should contact our support team any time of the day. So let's click on verify records and let's see what we get. Verify records and all of the records were added successfully. So if we go back, we can see that our domain has been successfully verified on SPF, DKIM and DMARC part. Now this is the warm up part. I'm not gonna get into it in this video, but if you want to learn more, check out the annotation over here or check out the link in the description. And that's it. I told you it's going to be easy and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.